Okay, it's summertime and we've got full summer sun. It's 3 p.m. and uh, I want to talk about the eco drive. Charging. So many of you are putting your uh, watch on the windowsill in full summer sun to charge it up, but I'm going to say if you do not use cooling, your watch will soon overheat or get to the critical temperature. I'm going to talk about an experiment I conducted around 3 p.m., but if you do put your watch in around 12 or 1 p.m., depending on where you are on the planet, uh, it can quickly overheat. So the watch I'm talking about, I'm going to use an Aqualand. An Aqualand, and it's got a black dial. So the black dial, first of all, the watch is going to act like there's going to be a glass house, what's known as the glass house effect. And that's where um, you'll get a build up, the in increase in temperature because the infrared is being trapped beneath the glass. The dial is black too, so it's going to get really hot. Then I took, uh, for a test subject, I took, and that watch weighs um, 193 grams, so it's pretty heavy, 193 grams. Then I took a 114 uh, gram heat sink, it was about the size of black heat sink, and this is black aluminium. And I monitored the temperature not being cool, uh, and after 10 minutes, uh, that black surface was 46 degrees C, so that's approximately 10 C greater than body temperature. Okay, after 15 minutes, so 15 minutes, it was 48, it had increased uh, 2 degrees, and then after almost 20 minutes, 19 minutes, it was exactly. Uh, it was at 50 degrees C. So that's not very long, 19 minutes in the sun. That's not a long time that could easily be left in the sun like that. And the watch, uh, sorry, the, the, um, the heat sink was 50 degrees. Now, I didn't want to actually do the exact test with the watch because I'm going to cook the watch. I know this is getting close to cooking temperature, or going close to 60 degrees, and this is quite elevated. Okay, so after 19 minutes, basically uh, in increments of 5 minutes, this is almost 20 minutes, uh, I found the heat sink at 50 degrees, the black heat sink. Now you've got to remember the heat sink, it was a, a physically almost the same size as the watch, but it's going to weigh less because it's um, aluminium and the watch is steel, a big heavy chunk of uh, stainless steel. And it's, so it's going to retain the heat even more than the heat sink because the heat sink had some fins on it, and there's a little bit of air moving outside the house, but that's about it. But the heat sink, the black, it was a black heat sink, is at 50 degrees. Now the watch, if you leave the watch out there, it's going to get really hot, probably much hotter than 50 degrees. So my point is um, that you do need some cooling. If you're going to exceed just a few minutes, you know, over five minutes, it's going to start heating up over five minutes it's already over body temperature. It's already about 10 degrees over body temperature. Just, just five minutes in the sun. So how do, how do I keep it cool? I've shown videos about this before. Okay, this is in full summer sun at 2 p.m. Uh, the temperature at the back of the watch after 10 minutes in the sun. Let's have a look at that. You can see where I set the bezel. Okay, so we have a solar cell over to here, five volt solar cell, small five volt fan. Uh, when the sun's on the watch, the sun's on the solar cell. The, sol the fan is blowing on the um, foam. You've got evaporative cooling from the water. So there's no way the watch can overheat, even in such severe heat. Like this, if you just put it on the windowsill without cooling, evaporative cooling, and some sort of cooling, you are quickly going to raise the temperature 
at that watch are over 50 degrees. Now I've done some tests, I'm going to talk about those tests in a minute uh, away from this, but I just wanted to show you the setup now. Somebody contacted me recently and said they think they cooked their watch battery by leaving it in the sun on the windowsill. And I'm going to explain why you just can't leave it in the full summer sun during summer on a windowsill without some sort of cooling. Yes, your watch will still be working after four hours, six hours maybe, but at elevated temperatures you will decrease the lifespan of that Eco Drive watch. All right, let's move on and have a look at some figures which I acquired from a test. So this is one hour, 15 minutes after being in full sun and it's only now 30 degrees. It, it, you know, it's just really keeping it cool like that. That's the back of the watch. It's 30 degrees after one hour, 15 minutes in full summer sun. Now, uh, if, if I draw, you know, here's my crew watch. There's the watch fan sitting there. And I've got a little piece of dishwasher foam underneath of it. It's, it's, it's all sitting in a small, shallow, you know, saucer or whatever. There's some water in there like this. This actually might be stuck up on the side like this, actually, the, the foam. And I've got a little uh, solar fan, uh, you know, glowing solar-powered fan, blowing air, an air stream across there. This is going to a solar cell. It's a 5 volt solar cell so when the so I can be guaranteed when the sun's out in full this is working and it means that it's got the fan on this and this you've just got evaporative cooling you know and, and, and here's the watch and you've got evaporative cooling and with the evaporative cooling I found that for the same time after one hour it doesn't matter two hours three hours the watch at 3 p.m. sun, full sun on it at 3 p.m., the watch, the back of the watch, the back of the watch, I put the temperature probe in here, the, as you see, you'll see in a video in a minute, the back of the watch did not exceed uh, about 28.1 degrees C. So this, was, this is less, this is about 10 degrees less than if it was on your wrist, sitting here on your wrist. You see how often I wear the watch, it's pale here on there. So this is, you know, about approximately 10 degrees less than body temperature, right? Okay. So that's why I think, you, you know, you should provide some kind of cooling. If it's windy, you don't need to do this. But if you're going to leave your watch on the windowsill for several hours, I would recommend doing this. I had someone contact me recently and they said, you know, they believe they cooked their watch out on the windowsill and, and they told me how they were doing it and I said, yeah, you've cooked your watch for sure. And according to, you know, Citizen Canada, uh, you know, one of the biggest problems when they have servicing on EcoDrive watches is that people are overheating their watches. The batteries are knackered because this, the chemistry, while it's pretty tough in these rechargeable special lithium batteries in these EcoDrive watches, the problem is that continued elevated temperatures uh, you know, this is what's going to happen. So it's okay if it's on your wrist and you're charging in some because it can't go over 37 because the back of your wrist has got blood flow and it's keeping the watch cool. But if you take it off and put it in the windowsill uh, outside in direct sunlight, uh, in the summer sun now, if you're in the part of the world where it's summer now, you, you are going to cook that watch. And yes, it will still be working after you've left it in there four hours or whatever, but you will decrease the lifespan of that watch how do I know this? And I'm not, you know, talking off the top of my head because I've got eco drives that are over 21 years old, never had a service on the battery, keep perfect time. So I know how to charge these things. And, and I just uh, feel that, you know, there's a lot going around the internet now on, on, you know, that you can leave them on the windowsill and there's no problems. That's, that's not true. That's just not true. All right. Thanks for watching.